So, two things happened on Christmas Eve that made my heart sing. I was standing at the top of the stairs outside the sanctuary and Claire was walking upstairs carrying Asher. As they were passing the window ledge halfway up the stairs, Asher spotted the nativity set and he leaned over in Claire's arms and with what sounded to me like surprise and delight, he said, Jesus! I love that Asher spotted Jesus halfway up the stairs, albeit in a nativity set. The second thing that made my heart sing was a lovely friend who is currently in a place of sore bereavement. And she shared about a very unique, very personal way that God had shown her that he's with her, that he knows her sadness, he knows her pain, and he's walking through this time of sadness with her. And these two things just made me think, don't you just want to notice and engage with the presence of Jesus so much more through 2024? There's a verse in Acts 17, and this is the message translation, which says, God doesn't play hide and seek with us. He's not remote. He's near. We live and move in him. Can't get away from him. God wants us to find him in our homes, in our places of work, in our schools, in our church, in our joys and in our sorrows. So let's keep looking for him. Let's ask him to help us find him. And I was thinking just about ways that might help to do that. Maybe reflecting on your own or with the family at the end of a day could help us. Asking ourselves questions like, what am I thankful for today? Where have I seen beauty or love or kindness? Who have I spent time with today or who have I thought about today that the Spirit is encouraging me to pray for? Is there anything I notice today spoiling me or spoiling God's world that I want to talk to him about? Maybe these kind of regular reflections can help us to be more aware of Jesus just in our ordinary day-to-day lives. And so I pray that we'll all spot Jesus more in our daily lives throughout 2024.